5 seconds addressing the conference of the university students the president of india said i am very happy that you have given me this opportunity to speak to you about all those things which we are facing today i am sure you will not misunderstand me if i talk to you quite freely we are living today in the midst of a turmoil all over the world there is unrest oppression and aggression many people suffer for the greed and ambitions of the few we are meeting here to discuss the problems confronting us i therefore feel that we must bear in mind the conditions prevailing not only in our own country but also the world at large if we are to go ahead we must understand the full implications of all those forces which are at work in the world the time has come when every man and woman boy and girl has got to take the decision on which side he or she is going to line up are you going to side with the forces that suppress and exploit the weak or are you going to throw in your weight with those who work for humanity and justice it is no longer possible for us to sit on the fence as spectators of the world drama each one of us is an actor and has a role to play and it is for each one of us to decide whether we are going to play that part ill or well during the last few years there has been a great misconception in the minds of our students as to their outlook and conduct in life this led to many things which have definitely lowered the prestige of the student community of india when i say this i am in no spirit of criticism it is not at all my intention i am only making some suggestions which you may or may not accept i have seen with growing dismay that our students have lost all sense of discipline and restraint i found that some of the demonstrations staged by them recently have been out of all proportion to the grievances protested against in many instances even their patriotism has been in my opinion wrongly demonstrated as a result of which they have weakened their own forces and those of others whom they sought to help i would therefore suggest that as a preliminary to any work contemplated by the students they should immediately start to discipline themselves for the work ahead i am of the firm opinion that no discipline imposed from outside can be of any value what is now required is the discipline imposed from within i have no doubt that you will impose this voluntarily as soon as you realize how far it will lead you towards the goal you aim at you stand today on the threshold of life the world is open for you to conquer not by the force of arms but by the force of love and service to humanity for this purpose you must first of all conquer yourselves and go forward with humility to take part in creating a better order the world is passing through a period of agony it is on the brink of war and any war that comes to us will not be confined to the people who fight it i hope you will agree with me that it will be a means of spreading misery destruction and death to countless millions who have had no say whatsoever in bringing about the war in the midst of all darkness and chaos which we find in the world today the one encouraging and hopeful sign is the emergence of a group of men and women who have been able to see the vision of the world united and in spite of danger and difficulty are trying to translate their ideals into action it is a happy sign that there is a growing realization on the part of all thinking people that the world is one and that there must be one standard of justice and freedom for all human beings india today stands on the threshold of a new era a more glorious era than any that has gone before before ushering into it 
each one of us will have to contribute our bit towards the ultimate achievement in this new chapter of history we must begin by changing our attitude towards all those fundamentals of life